Welcome back. We are talking about one of the most common and misunderstood medical conditions affecting women today. Endometriosis affects around 1 in 10 women. That's according to the World Health Organization. In a new documentary we've been discussing, it's called Below the Belt. It talks about the difficulties women and girls face trying to find the reason why they are in so much pain. Take a look. Follow up with your OBGYN. That's not anything we haven't heard before. Yep. For years now, I've been sent to every specialist that makes sense based on my symptoms, OBGYNs, pulmonologists, cardiologists. They don't see a problem based on their specialty. No one's looking at the big picture. And so now, what am I supposed to do to get better? Filmmaker and Below the Belt director Shannon Cohn is still with us. Joining us now, Jenna and her husband, Joe. Welcome to the show. We appreciate you being here with us. Um, Jen, I have to tell you, I got a, I, I got a little ch choked up and emotional there just seeing you in all of those doctors' visits. Yeah. Um, you know, with tubes and, and on tables. That was your life. Yeah. How do you explain it or get people to fully understand, I guess, the fear, the uncertainty that comes with this? There's no way. Really? To, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... There's no way to truly put into words how devastating this disease is. It took my entire life from me. Um, when I got sick, I was working my dream job. I was finishing grad school, and then overnight, I couldn't do anything. When did you first hear endometriosis from a doctor? Because this was a long and grueling process. Yeah, it was about two years into first feeling symptoms that anyone mentioned the word to me. Joe, what was it like for you to watch her go through this? It was terrible. Uh, it, 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 the, it ran the gamut of emotions. It was sad. It was confusing. I, I left bewildered. I, I couldn't believe that people were suffering this badly and it was this widespread and no one knew about it. <laughs> You're a registered nurse. Yeah. And when we talk about, we did one of our highest rated shows on women feeling um, ignored and not believe when it comes to chronic pain. Mm -hmm. You're in the medical field yeah. that you love. Right. And the same thing was happening to you in a sense that your pain, you weren't getting answers. Yeah. Take a look. Don't exactly trust her. Don't exactly trust her telling me that everything's fine. Yeah, seems to be one of the main things with this, right? You come in and they're like, oh, this mystery disease. We don't know what to do about it. And you're not dying. You don't look like you're dying. So, bye. Going through that made me question everything I thought I knew about the medical system in this country. It made me question whether I wanted to be a part of it anymore. In 2016, you had a procedure mm -hmm. that gave you peace, but also was could have lost your life. Absolutely. Um, I had endometriosis on my diaphragm. So it was specifically affecting the muscle that helps me to breathe. So every breath that I took literally felt like I was being stabbed. Mm -hmm. And so to correct that, I had to have a thoracic surgery. So to do that, they have to collapse your lung, put in a chest tube. We signed a consent saying, you're okay with the fact that you may never be able to breathe independently without a, a machine after this procedure if something goes wrong. That's and you were willing to take that chance? Yes, that's how bad the pain was. Shannon, you feature four women in the documentary, but I'm sure there are more stories than you can count that would have had the same reaction from people just shocked, A, by the number of women suffering, but also how long, yeah. because they don't get the answers. Right. I mean, we told four stories, but everybody watching this is affected by endometriosis. They either have it or they know or love someone who has it. You have two daughters, right? I do. Yeah. Is it hereditary? Yes, there is a seven times increased risk among sisters and between mothers and daughters. And they are really the impetus behind what we're building with this, what we're all building with this to, to try to change the narrative of this disease in a really meaningful way. We um, saw a clip of uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren there, so, because you've taken this not just from the world of documentary or the kitchen table, mm -hmm. but to impact laws and change, which again, it seems 
crazy, if I can use that word, that we would need legislation to help women get relief. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's true. What is the goal um, there? The goal with legislation is really to bring both sides of the aisle together because it's something that everybody, you know, it's not a political issue. This is a human issue. So we can get Republicans. Senator Orrin Hatch was the first. His granddaughter is actually featured in the film, Emily Hatch. And it was personal for him. He saw her suffer. And to his credit, he said, let's get Elizabeth Warren involved. involved. And she's on the opposite side of the aisle, but it takes all of us. And then when Senator Hatch retired in 2019, Senator Mitt Romney took stepped in his shoes mm. and said, let's do something mm. about this. And we screened for members of Congress last month wow. uh, and had representatives on both sides, both, you know, from the House of Representatives, from the Senate, both sides of the aisle coming together to say, OK, enough is enough. We're going to confront this problem and do something. Well, about this show it. is about facing fears. Mm -hmm. You faced your fears yeah. in reaching out to get this documentary made because I'm sure there were many people who thought, wait a minute, endometriosis <laughs> documentary, who's gonna watch that? Yeah. And like, you proved them wrong. Right, of course. I mean, they're like, wait, first of all, what? What is this you're talking about? And why would anybody watch that? And and but we knew, like, these stories are everyone's stories, and they deserve to be heard and heard in a big way. And Jenna, is, you are yeah. still a nurse. Yes. And you have this with part of you, not all of you, mm -hmm. sharing wisdom and guiding journey for life with chronic illness. Yeah. Um, because you too have used your voice and where you are now to help other people. Yeah, my husband and I started a nonprofit called the Endometriosis Coalition. And after what we went through and having such a difficult time finding answers, we wanted to do something to help make the information more accessible so that women could feel uh, empowered to advocate for themselves. Wow. So our, our mission is to raise awareness and promote reliable education for the disease so that... Wow. Well, thank you both so much. Joe, thank you as well. Shannon, this is a must-see documentary. Jenna, thank you. This will be comforting for a lot of people. We appreciate you so much. And Tamfam, guess what? You're all going home with a copy of Part of You, not all of you. And... The documentary Below the Belt premieres June 21st on PBS. It will be available afterwards on PBS.org.